here on the ferry in our cabin where you can touch everything just like that. Uh, we had an amazing day to start off. It was glorious sunshine, um, just shined all the way. Really lovely, smooth run in. Nice little stop for bacon roll and it's gone. And here we are, mid afternoon, it hit 30 degrees at one point, 30 degrees in Scotland. It's now a nice 21 and we're ready to go for a beer. I think that's gonna be a theme on this trip. Cheers. Cheers, Lynn. Welcome to day two of the big 2018 return to Europe with Helen, Fraser, Steve and Elaine. We're just arriving at the port of Imuden as usual. You hear the rumble of the engine there. Oh, the boat breaks apart. Just about to hit the road on a beautiful day. We've got 350 miles to do today so uh, yeah, here's happy riding.
it's a gorgeous morning. Actually wakened early. The sun was up, the crockles were crow. It's amazing. Bro, more riding. So uh, we're off to Iguishon. Iguishon. Let's see, yes. Um, which is how long, Fraser? How many miles? Just over a couple of hundred. A couple of hundred miles. So that's about a third less than today. Should be quite All pleasant. On no motorways, no toll roads. To just no motorways, nice, no toll roads, which would be great. Nice run through the uh, French countryside. <sighs> and sweaty day, uh, 32 degrees, high point. Um, we are, so we had this morning through the Champagne regions, that's what that was, um, and then uh, we had quite a bit of motorway, stopped for a little coffee or a little water, and now we are somewhere that's looking a lot more Swiss, very kind of hills are alive with the sound of music. Um, we're about 30 kilometers away from Colmar, um, which is near where we're staying tonight, and there's a car about to run freezer over, right behind you. Oh, jeez. Um, <laughs> okay, and they've screwed up the filming, so yay! place called Iguishheim. It's like French German together and um, we've had a lovely night out for some food and some drinks and a little donder around a beautiful town. It's very much like Colmar. It's kind of all oldie worldy houses and um, just really pretty. A bit of traumatic moment when I realised I'd left my toiletries at the last hotel which means I don't have a razor. Terry Helen. Oh no cut that. Don't put that in. <laughs> Stork. So we walk up and we see this church and there's a stork nest and we're like, oh my goodness, it's a stork nest and there's two big storks in it. And then you look at the next pillar and there's another stork nest and then the next one and there's another stork nest. And we counted eight storks in these like three or four nests here and then you move around the next street and there's more stork nests. There's this like stork city. It's awesome. Birds seem to be a, a theme of the holiday. We've just come from Stork Town and now we're swans, like the swans in the signets. We're en route to Switzerland and we just stopped at a little, lovely little spot. Find a loo and just pause for a minute. Steve Millane's flag is faring very well, much better than ours. Cut to a shot of our flag. Stephen Elaine, anything to see the camera? Uh, not today. <laughs> <laughs> not today. Are you moody, Steve? No, just being told to go onto an unpaved road by lane. You don't, it's funny scenery, you don't want to be going on two carriages, but surely. Of course, the border. And the river crossing. But yeah, we can continue on. I will change the sat map back.
Yeah, we're just in the most stunning place in this valley. Can you hear that? The camera says yes. That is the river running through it. Um, we've got a beautiful waterfall. It's all up at night time that we can see from our hotel. Just stunning. It's really stunning. So we had a great night. Went for um, a walk up to the waterfall. Almost had a heart attack trying to get up there. Um, and then we went for beers in a pub. Um, with a very, very drunk Scottish man. And we had we had a lovely run today. We met this, we stopped at this place for um, coffee and water and a bit of apple or some kind of cake thing. And the lady brought us chocolates and she was just lovely and she spoke no English. I was like, um, uh, speak easy English, uh, 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 from Susan, oder, uh, uh, oder Deutsch. And she was like, uh, nine. And she's like, the only word I know is railway station in English. <laughs> so tomorrow we are up really early. Um, because we're heading towards Italy, we're going um, to the valley, I think, and then turning back. So we're going to the beautiful mountains, and then we're heading over some amazing mountain passes, two mountain passes, I think, um, over to Italy. Good morning from Switzerland. It's a bleary eyed morning. It's uh, 10 to 8 just about to go down for breakfast. Um, lovely clear morning, the sun's just popping up over the big mountain over there. And uh, we're going to be heading now to Italy through some great mountain passes. I'm uh, looking forward to that. Um, it's a nice cool day, but let's see what the weather brings. We hit 33 again yesterday, so it was very toasty, but good day. And uh, we'll go down for breakfast to get uh, some coffee to wake up now. Hopefully this one ain't full. There's Mr. Piri. There he is. How many cars did you bring with you? Not enough. There's Fraser Band, man with the cards. And Miss Helen McKinnon. There we are. Yoo hoo! Go to the emergency. <laughs> credit card. Yeah, I know. <laughs>
morning, it's Tuesday morning and we're in La Stressa in Italy which is on Lake Maggiore. Goodness me, what we had a bit of an adventure yesterday. Um, it wasn't a hugely long day, it was about 164 miles, about, um, but it was kind of like so we did a couple of passes, mountain passes, we did the Gotthard Pass, second, so the first one was the Susten Pass and then the Gotthard Pass. Um, some really spectacular views, just yeah, stunning day, not cloud in the sky, and then we hit the lakeside, which was like so. Um, it was quite a slow journey, um, and it took us quite a long time to get to our destination, but it was really worth it. Um, place is a swimming pool across the road, so we all had to swim. My arms are so sore this morning; everything is aching, but that's a sign of a good workout. Um, had a swim, went for a lovely Italian dinner, kind of rustic Italian place that Fraser found. And we came back to thunderstorms, thunder and lightning, so forky lightning. Ch -ch -ch. Ch -ch -ch. Haven't seen that in ages. And then we got up this morning and had to Bricky, went for a little donder down the street. Um, interesting fact, last night we were sitting in this sky bar, so it was a very funky sky bar where all the cool kids hang out. And there was this reserved area and all these very posh people came in and I'm thinking it must be some kind of private drinks reception. Turns out it was the Rotary Club of Stressa. I noticed they had their wee badges. Fraser looks bored now. It's probably Do you bad. start saying interesting fact? Rotary is a worldwide humanitarian organisation. <laughs> 1.2 million volunteers. And no matter where you are in the world, you're welcome to join. I should have said hello if my Italian was better. Um, <laughs> Yep, uh, really enjoyed last night. We were in Stressa by the lake and it was very beautiful, very relaxing, swim, had a bubble bath with Steve, ooh sir, and yeah, food and that at night and red wine and very relaxed, very chilled, nice lazy morning. Now we're on the road again. La Mora after another very hot and sweaty day. Um, I think it was only about 100 and something miles today. It wasn't too long uh, but it was really hot. It hit 34.5 degrees um, so hot and sweaty but we did a nice uh, leisurely run and we stopped at a place called Asti where we went visit, visited a cathedral. It was really very stunning and then we've arrived in La Mora. We have our own roof terrace it's fabulous for drying stuff and lazing out um, and we just arrived and we're told to get ready in an hour because there's a free wine tour with tasting with tasting the 
Zubizu bizu Zubizu bizu Zubi zubi zu zubi zu zubi zu means that I love you. Zubi zubi zu zubi zubi zu zubi zubi zu zubi zu zubi zu means that I love you. Zubi zubi zu zubi zu zubi zu means that I love you. Zubi zubi zu. Wednesday and will be the day that we got separated. Sat nav. Everyone known as the separation day. Ever known as the separation day. Sat off Left them at the roadside. No, sat nav started uh, playing up and we ended up, I don't know where we ended up, different places. Fraser and I got completely lost and stuck in a circle of doom. <laughs> what else did we do? We did uh, coffee. It's a squirrel again. And then we did uh, into Genoa a little bit and then we got out there quick onto the Bucky Race Autostrada and now we're off and we've done some twisty 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 on the way to where are we going? Rio Maggiore. Rio Maggiore.
He stopped it. Just talk over him. Welcome to Rio Maggiorio, Cinque Terre coast of North West Italy. It's quite rustic. Rustic. And uh, quaint, hilly, sunny, and warm. And where are we both now? Beautiful day, beautiful day. Looking forward to a wee refreshing boat ride. So, day off today after many days on the road. I think we've done about uh, 1300 miles now, 1300 miles. So, it's good going, especially in every day it's been about 30 degree heat as well. So, we're doing well. Laters.
evening everybody. Uh, we are in the French Riviera on the coast um, of France, just uh, over the border in a little, not a little place, quite a big city called Menton. It's a gorgeous sunset tonight, really beautiful. We've got palm trees lining the esplanade. Um, went for dinner, had ice cream on the way back, lovely dawn to find about. Just a really lovely chilled night. So today we travelled from Cinque Terre to uh, Menton. It's got another quite hot day. We did a uh, motorway to start with and it was really like vroom. It was kind of not your boring straight motorway, it was really like autostrada. Autostrada it's called. And it was like curve, 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 curve. Just like that, curving all the time. In and out tunnel, little tunnel, back out tunnel, in and out tunnel. So you got like, little bits of scenery and then all of a sudden you're in a tunnel. Then you come out in a different place and then we hit the, the Italian Riviera coast into the French Riviera and it, we just kind of cruised, quite slow going because it was in night of little towns, cruised all the way around the coast and it was beautiful, the water was sparkling. Yeah, good day, a bit knackered though. Early start tomorrow, going to Chateau Neuf de Pape and we're leaving at 8.30 in the morning. Beautiful day here in the south of France. It's just a beautiful morning with the uh, sea crashing against the uh, rocks just out there. Lovely sound. Nothing but blue sky, blue sea. And today we are going over the uh, Gorge du Verdon area up to Chateau Neuf de Pape. So I have a glass of wine there later on. day today we left uh, Menton uh, just over the which is just over the Italian border into France uh, left it this morning we decided to get up early go didn't have breakfast could catch something on the way because we thought it'd be nice to go through Monte Carlo 
and uh, uh, sat nav. I don't know what went wrong. Narrow streets, signals weren't being picked up, but it went a bit haywire. And then we kind of didn't really want to go through Nice, but we did. That was awful. Far too busy. Nice wasn't nice. <laughs> So it was really busy. It was horrible. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it was horrible. Really horrible. Always going to be an epic day because of the couple of passes I had marked out. But we kind of had the epic day before we even got to the first pass. And Steve sat and I was doing funny things. We decided to go our separate ways at one point. And uh, we went like three hours. We went this way. Three hours they went that way. Thought we'd say we'd just meet at here at Chateau Neuf de Bep. And uh, we stopped for petrol uh, and <laughs> we bumped into them about 50 miles from Shatnav to Pat bumped into them at uh, the petrol station, so it was quite funny. We're all knackered actually, I'm really pooped. So we're going to have an early night, a more leisurely day tomorrow. That's our money back guarantee by Hellraiser Tours. <laughs>
morning and um, welcome to sunny Rocca Madura. Knock at my door. Uh, we're in Rocca Madura in France. Lots of vehicles, it's like a pub of activity this time of the morning. We woke up to like 52 church bells ringing, it's quite noisy, been up for a long time. Um, it's so beautiful, it's all still and sunny and there's a cloud in the sky. I arrived yesterday after a lovely day, um, quite a quick day. Just nice roads, nice sunshine, a few little coffee stops, Fraser picked out a little town for a coffee shop and this high point called La Pointe de Sublime, something like that. Um, and we saw, not ostriches, what are they called? Vultures. We saw vultures, soaring vultures, um, beautiful stop. And then we went to Rocca Madura and there's Elaine and Steve. Yes, this place, where are we? Rocca Madura. Rocca Madura is really nice, very pretty. Had a huge cheese piece, three pizza last night, it was good. French won their bit of the game, World Cup thing, so they'll be playing Croatia hopefully. And uh, ah, just great. Floor in northern France. Um, where did we leave this morning? The Pigeon House in Poitiers. And we had the sat now set to avoid tolls, avoid waterways, so we had a, a big variety of roads today, I would say, but all good. No rain, 
touch wood. Nice temperature of about 24 degrees average, which is very nice, but um, much more cooler now, which is nice. Pretty tired though, really tired today actually, to be honest. I didn't sleep very well last night, so. Um, going for an early night tonight. It's half past nine. That's the gate outside. It's like a prison in here. Uh, we're all quite tired. We've had about um, 10 solid days of 30 degrees heat. On average, so it's been pretty toasty. Lots of sweaty metas arriving at hotels across Europe. We're back in the same room here in Holland Floor we had the last time, just by chance. I'm a bit tired. Probably sound tired. Probably bored. Do look bored? Just tired. I'm bored. Okay, fair enough. Good night. Action. Good morning. Uh, about to put a, med a muddy boot on the bed. Um, we're, uh, we're in St Catherine's B&B in Hofleur and we've just had a lovely breakfast of very hard baguettes. That's very tasty. Um, and we're just getting ready to hit the motor range, mm -hmm. mostly I think. Um, to head to Bruges. We haven't mentioned the R word because there's been no R in this holiday. However, we're sitting at breakfast this morning. Bloop, 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 bloop. So we'll see what kind of day we're in for. But um, I think we're all excited to get on the road and go to Bruges because it all happens in Bruges. So, excuse me, just getting ready. Oh. These trousers fit so much better at the start of the holiday. <laughs> We're in the gallery Yasmin in, I'm not sure what the room, this room is called, Steve and Lena are in the Lily room. We're in a lovely room with yellowness. Um, the sun is out, we had uh, four, about four hours on the motorway today. <laughs> no traffic jams, no stops, no delays, no filtering, just really smooth going. Arrived in Bruges by three o'clock, chocolates on arrival, she never lets us down. The sun is out, despite a little bit of rain earlier, Fraser had to stop and put his uh, waterproofs on. Um, but we're here for a wee to have the usual beer and chocolate.
Thomas Jackson. Ooh, I am for real. Never meant to make your daughter cry. I apologize for twenty times. Thomas Jackson. Ooh, I am for real. Never meant to make your daughter cry. I apologize for twenty times. Yeah. Already taken over with all of our junk. Um, we're on the ferry in Holland and we're getting ready to go home. Um, we had a beautiful sunny day, it's been a, a super ride up, um, probably the best I think we've had. Um, and now we're on the ferry ready to go. Uh, Fraser's right into the beer, free beer, not really free, we paid a fortune for it, but into the beer. Um, but yeah, coming to the end of a splendid holiday with so much adventure and so many things that we've seen. And I have to say, thank you as always, Fraser Band, for your meticulous planning, for your careful attention to really nice places to stay, for great roads, for good sights, good adventures. Um, you did us all very proud and we're all very grateful. Thank you. And welcome to what is now the last day of 2018 bike trip. It's Sunday morning, just after 9 or 8, can't work out what it is, ship's time or British time, whatever, but yeah, we're approaching Newcastle, we're there quite soon, and that's the end of that. It's been just under 3,000 miles, some uh, fantastic scenery, some fantastic roads and some pretty good food as well, which is always a bonus. And, uh, I think, think on the whole a great time was had by all. So here's to next year.